Okay, so we set these traps about four days ago. We've been coming back and checking them every day since, but we haven't got anything. We've checked them every day and no luck. Um, and we're going to check the rest. Let's see what we got in this one. I had chicken liver and corn in this one. And we got a yellow turtle right here. Yesterday I put corn in this one. All the corn's gone, but tuna worked out pretty well. And there he is. Let's check the rest. Okay, so I'm going to set these traps now. This is a smaller trap. It's meant for smaller turtles, as you can see, which these are bigger turtles, um, size comparison. But um, I have attachments on this one to put my bait in there. Um, I've been using normal sardines and soybean oil, but I'm going to try sardines and mustard sauce right here. And then in this trap, I'm going to try chopped clams and clam juice. And the reason you want to put a trap halfway out of water is so if the turtle swims in and eats your bait, as you can see, this type of bait, um, as it swims in and eats your bait, once it's done and you haven't been back for a few days, it'll give it enough air to reach surface and live until you get back. So right now I'm just going to bait the trap, a little door right there, with these sardines and mustard sauce. I've never used them, so they look pretty nasty. It's good. So I've never used them before, so I don't know how they're going to do and whatnot. So I'm just going to take the trap, toss it in right there, and it should be good to go. I'll come back tomorrow and check them again. Okay, so I got my Bear Girls knife. I'm going to poke four holes about half of a dime size. In this one I have tuna. Some of them are cut. Um, it's hanging in the back to get more water movement. These are chopped clams and clam juice. I've never used them either. But I'm just going to bait it and set it in right in this area. There's a tree right over there as you can see for some good shade. One hole. You want to save all the juice you can for as much scent in the water. These things smell pretty bad, but, ugh. but um, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, to throw it in there, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to toss it right in the back there. Usually the more nastier things that you have, it gets more turtles, because the more of the scent that is on them, turtles just like that, dead scent, I'm just going to lay it in there, okay, that right there is set, we'll come back in the next few days, and see if we get anything.